there's some more detail to go into when they give you something like the sine of theta equals one half because more than one thing could actually happen for your reference triangle. We just didn't worry about it in the last one because uh, we're not adding that detail yet. But now think about this. If this is opposite and this is hypotenuse, what we're going to do is we're going to start thinking about triangles where the corner theta is always going to be located in the center. And in class I call this the bow tie. This is what it always looks like when you're thinking about reference triangles. You could have different thetas going in different directions. So if the opposite is 1, this right here is positive, which means that the opposite side of my theta has to be a positive 1. And so what's happening here is I'm ruling out these two possibilities based on the fact that this was positive 1 over positive 2. Now, it could be either of these because in mathematics, the hypotenuse here, the distance from 0 can only be positive. So it's either this or this. So what's the difference here? On the right side, cosine is positive. On the left side, cosine is negative. And it'll start to matter more as we get into unit circles. But in this case, what they would also need to add is some more information so that you know which reference tri triangle to go with. And so I'm going to add this information. Cosine of theta equal is less than 0, which means that we're going to use this because cosine has to be negative, less than 0. So the reference triangle we're going to go with is theta, 1, 2, and we still have to figure out this other side, but we also know it's going to be negative. So 1 squared plus x squared equals 2 squared, x squared, this is 4 and 1, so this is going to be 3, x is going to be root 3, and not only root 3, it's going to be negative root 3. Another reason this comes up is because when you solve this here, and you square root, there are actually two answers, plus or minus root 3. Alright, so let's start doing our trig ratios. Sine of theta equals 1 half. Cosine of theta is negative root 3 over 2. Tangent opposite over adjacent is, it's overall going to be negative 1 over root 3. But we have to be careful here. Remember that we need to rationalize. So multiply by th root 3 over root 3, whatever's on the bottom. And I'm going to get negative root 3 all over 3. All right, so let's go over to cosecant. That's theta, just sine just flipped over, so that's 2. Secant of theta is going to be this flipped over, which is negative 2 over root 3. And we've got to rationalize, so we would multiply by root 3 over root 3. So this is going to come out to be negative 2 root 3 all over 3. Okay, and then lastly here, cotangent of theta is going to be this flipped over, which really, if we just went to the original answer and flipped it over, it would be negative root 3. Okay, so we have our six trig functions. Now it's your turn. I'm going to give you an example here. Let's say that tangent of theta equals 3. Now remember, if they give you 3, this is actually 3 over 1, by the way. If cosine of theta is less than 0, then find all 6. And at this point, you should be pausing the video and giving it a try. Okay, so if you think originally to the bow tie here, opposite over adjacent is tangent. So we have 3 is opposite, adjacent is 1. But we have an important piece of important thing here. Cosine is less than 0. And cosine would be this side right here, adjacent. So if cosine is less than 1, then we should be on this side with negative 1. 
Now this one is especially tricky because if cosine is negative, if we're going to do opposite over adjacent, we have to have a negative 3 so that when we divide them it times to be positive 3. So this one has a lot of pieces to it. It could have been 3 over 1 or 3 over 1. But since cosine is less than 1, we've got to take the negative version over here. Okay, using Pythagorean, we're going to do negative 1 squared plus negative 3 squared equals the hypotenuse squared. This is 1 plus 9. This is going to be the square root of 10. And the hypotenuse is always positive. It's like the distance from 0. All right, sine of theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, negative 3 over root 10, which we got to rationalize. So if you do that, you're going to get negative 3, 10 over 10. Cosine is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is negative 1 over root 10. And rationalizing, tangent of theta is going to be, well, it's going to be 3, because we do opposite over adjacent, which is 3. And now it's time for the partner. This is supposed to be cosecant, so CSC theta. And now instead of flipping this and having the radical back downstairs, we're just going to take this and flip it, which will be negative root 10 over 3. This one, same thing. I don't want to flip this because then a radical will be downstairs. So I'll flip this, It'll be negative root 10 over 1, which is just negative root 10. And then the flip of tangent, cotangent of theta, will be 1 over 3. 